This is Darshna Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 20th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was down 1.96 points or 0.47% to 415.37. Trading volume was down lower than on Friday with only 152,346 shares changing hands at a trading value of around 636.2 million Khmer real or 156,000 US dollars. On the main board, only three companies saw percentage rises in their stock price, the first being the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, which rose by 0.55% or 40 real to 7,300 real per share, with a trading volume of 411 shares at a total value of around 3 million real. Second was Grand Twins International, which rose by 0.44% or 10 real to 2,300 real per share, with 2,659 shares changing hands at a value of around 6 million real. Sienegville Autonomous Port was third, rising by 0.16% or 20 real to 12,480 real per share. On the downside, Pestec Cambodia PLC saw the biggest percentage loss today, down 3.56% or 80 real to 2,170 real per share. Akleda Bank PLC was also down 0.26%, the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port down 0.30%, MJQ Education down 0.49%, and Cam GSM PLC down 0.82%. Meanwhile, the Phnom Penh Special Economic Zone remained flat. Regarding the trading contribution to the market today, Akleda Bank PLC was at the top spot, with 52,866 shares trading hands at a value of over 409 million Khmer real. This was followed by the Phnom Penh Special Economic Zone with 48,450 shares trading hands at a value of around 108 million Khmer real. The lowest traded company today was the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port, with only 258 shares traded. On the growth board, JS Land grew by 0.50% or 20 real to 3,990 real per share, while DBD Engineering remained the same at 2,200 real per share. In other market news, the Phnom Penh SEZ PLC published its Q1 2024 disclosure report detailing a total revenue of over 4 million US dollars or 16.4 billion Khmer real, marking a decrease in revenue by 86.63% compared to the same period in 2023. As a result, the company also reported a decrease in net profit by 97.22% in Q1 2024 compared to Q1 2023. RMA Cambodia also released its first quarterly report detailing a revenue of 432.1 billion Khmer real or over 106.3 million US dollars, which was nonetheless still a 31.5% decrease compared to the same quarter in 2023. Accordingly, the company's Q1 2024 profit came to a total of 20.9 billion Khmer real, or roughly over 5.1 million US dollars, which is a 70% decrease compared to Q1 2023. Khmer real to USD weakened slightly to 4,078, with the US dollar index slightly up to 104.49. Oil has so far been little changed, fluctuating within a tight range, even though the news of the Iranian president's death comes at a time of raging war in Gaza. Brent was down 24 cents at 83.74 US dollars a barrel. The US West Texas Intermediate crude for June, set to expire on Tuesday, edged 33 cents lower to $79.73 a barrel in tepid trade. The more active July contract was down 28 cents at $79.3. Despite the news of the Iranian president's sudden death, experts predict Iranian oil policy should be unaffected as the country's supreme leader has a final say on all state matters. Gold prices have soared to an all-time high, with spot gold jumping 1.4% to $2,448.98 US dollars per ounce, having reached a record $2,449.89 US dollars earlier in the session. US gold futures also rose 1.5% to 2453.2. In New York on Friday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above the 40,000 mark for the first time in its 139-year history. The index had briefly crossed the mark on Thursday, but closed lower. S&P 500 futures and Dow futures were little changed, and the Nasdaq 100 futures rose by 0.1%. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for May 20th.